Hey gang, it's Brian from FX Builders. Today I'm going to show you five or six shots that can help you creatively get out of some bad situations, break up clusters, kick balls when you've been played, when someone has played defense on you, all these situations. Most of these you can't figure out with a protractor. You can't figure out with a parallel shift, maybe one or two. But if you know this channel, you know we've got all the technical stuff down. What we also help you out with is the creative outs that are going to allow you to win matches when there is no parallel shift at the table, where you can't do a little bit of math and figure out your bank angle. That's what we're all about, guys. So if you're new to the channel, here's how we work. We are going to play the one ball here because every other angle is blocked. We would normally come off of three rails and get back here. Can't do it. We would normally jump and get here too close. We can't go up and back. What we're gonna do is we're gonna come off of the short rail and the long rail and get here. And it's going to look easy, but the key to this shot is you've got to load up with right hand spin to get in here. And I say load up, I mean three tips if you can pull it off to get in here tight enough to come back and get an angle on this one ball. So the shot looks like this. Pretty good. So hopefully we are out from here, but that's the shot. Practice this shot because similar situations do come up. You've probably seen them before and figured you had no way out. Uh, some of you have been around for a while and know that as a um, standard one pocket type shot. So put that in the bag and let's look at something else. Watch this shot, guys. Play the nine in that corner. That Brian Mitchell, hell of a banker. Hell of an intuitive banker, right? Well, sometimes I'm using a system. Sometimes I'm subconsciously using a system. But on that shot, I used a system that some of you already know, and you don't know you know it. There is a very popular parallel shift that allows you to get to that pocket from these two rails. And the way it works, so you're gonna get a bonus if you don't know the shot. The way it works is, if I match up diamond two here and diamond two here, and the cue ball rests under those diamonds, all I have to do is hit diamond two. The, where, the, the point where the, the parallel shift comes in is if I'm not lined up, I can just take my cue and keep that exact same angle and find a spot here that will lead me to the pocket. Pretty cool, right? It also works if you have a ball between <laughs> you and the rail. The trick, it's always a trick, right? The trick is if you hit it the same way you do with the kick, you're not gonna make it. What you have to do is you have to take some speed off of it and cheat about somewhere between a ball and a half a ball to the inside of the table in order to make the shot go. But if you find yourself in a situation where that same parallel shift will find these balls lined up under your cue, you can hit it, again, cheat a little bit to the right in this direction, you can hit it with low speed, increasing that angle as it goes down table and find yourself maybe not in the pocket each time. You're not Brian Mitchell, <laughs> but you will find it pretty close. And that's what we're trying to do with a lot of shots, especially difficult shots, is increase your odds of getting there. But it's the same parallel shift. A lot of you learned, you know, a lifetime ago, but you never used it for bank shots. You heard it first here, guys. You can use it for bank shots. Let's look at another shot. Game could be eight ball, could be nine ball, could be straight pool, could be anything. You have a situation. Let's say you're playing eight ball and you don't have a shot on this seven. You don't have a shot on this five. You don't have a shot on the two or the six. What do you do? 
If you pay attention, guys, all right, we don't have this shot. If you pay attention, the tangent line on these shots, this 90 degree line leads right for the pocket. And if I do this, about a half a millimeter, <laughs> it leads almost to that pocket. So it comes here and it almost goes there. And I'm here. And that's a problem shot. It's in the middle of the table, but these balls are clustered up. And even though I can make the six from here and the two from there, it's not a good situation. I've got to get on those and I'm here now. So use that tangent line. This one falls short. It doesn't quite go into the pocket. So if you've seen my other videos, I already taught you how to do this. What you're going to do is get on this side of the two ball. You're going to load up with draw, which is going to put top spin on the two, which will push the two towards that pocket. And then whether you're playing eight ball or nine ball or whatever, you can run out from here. The shot looks like this. This is low. You want to make sure you don't scratch in that pocket there. All right. So I'm hitting it with a little low, but I'm going to let it run combination of low and follow. <laughs> You're like, what did he say? Now the reason I let it run is because if I'm playing nine ball in particular, I need to get on that five. So I didn't want to just draw it back. But keep those shots in mind, guys. Walk around the table and see them. Those balls are clustered together, but the tangent leads right for the, the side pocket. Or it doesn't lead right for it, but you could cheat it with a little bit of low. Here's the situation, guys. We are playing nine ball. We're on the five. We don't have a route to the five because this guy's got us blocked in. But if we hit the five, we're going to win the game. If we don't hit the five, we're going to lose the game. So we're going to jump off of that rail, come back down here and hit these balls. Sounds like a trick shot, right? No, it's an obvious shot for anybody with a jump shot, anybody with a kick shot. You see this. A lot of times people don't put the two together though. That's where the trick comes in. The other trick is this ball is not in the pocket. A lot of people have been so programmed to aim for the pocket when they're shooting kicks like this that a lot of you that have this shot, you have the jump, you have the kick, you end up here. Make sure when you shoot this, you're going to be about two balls inside of where you would normally hit it for this pocket. And you need to make sure you don't put any unnecessary English on the cue ball during your jump. So the shot looks like this. I find my natural angle. I'm coming about two balls inside of that because I'm all the way over here. This is where I want to be. We make the nine, we win the game. The game is nine ball. We're on the three. We have a cluster there, a cluster there, and the nine is in my favorite place, sitting in the pocket. We can make the three all day and night, but we can't get on these balls. So what we're gonna do is give ourselves a legitimate chance to make that three and make the nine. Now, you say, Brian, do we even need to make the three? Maybe we shoot the three off of three rails, something like this, try to come around and play the nine here. That's an idea. If we miss that shot, we leave a lot of things open. First off, we might put our three ball in a spot where our opponent can not only make it but maybe now he's got an easy shot on the three nine. I'm not giving him any ammunition if I miss this shot, which is not a high percentage shot. Any of those dozen shots that I have for you, they're not high percentage shots. But here's the one I like the most. I'm gonna shoot this with draw. I'm gonna come off of this rail and this rail and bring myself directly into this pocket. It takes touch, it takes understanding of the shot, it takes practicing the shot, but if you see my videos, you know I shoot this constantly, similar shots constantly, so I have a pretty good feel for it. So there's other ways to do this that some of you will find easier 
but this is how Brian's shooting it. Coming off of those rails and coming down here and playing this ball. Now, that said, there's other things you could do. You could try that three rail shot. You could play it with inside and try to come off of this rail. I don't like that as much because what happens is you have to judge exactly how much inside you're putting on the shot or you end up coming off of here and here. I do like the three rail idea. If you understand uh, corner five or any of the three rail kick shot uh, techniques, you could use that. I know a three cushion guide is always going to be using that shot. But when you have these setups, figure out ways to give yourself a legitimate chance to make it. But get his ammunition off the table. Don't leave a tool for him down here somewhere that he's going to be able to use to make that 3-9 against you. The game is eight ball. The eight ball is sitting in the pocket. The nine is sitting in the pocket. You're on the four ball. You can't bank it anywhere, but you could call it in that side and shoot this shot. Now, that is not as high a percentage shot as I make it look. I've probably shot it, I don't know, a thousand times in my life. But it is your chance to make a ball. Everything else is blocked up. If you don't make this ball, you lost the game. Okay, here's the nine and there's the, the eight. Your opponent is on the nine. So give yourself a chance to win the game. There's no safeties, okay? You've got everything is resting on this shot. Like M says, you only get one shot. Now, that said, how do we increase your chances of making it? When you come off of these three rails, what you're doing, what I'm thinking when I shoot it, is get inside. Get as close to this diamond as I can without running into this ball. Your brain, especially if you've been around for a while, as I like to say, your brain is going to want you to bank it here. You need to override everything that you know about bank shots and make this your aim. But give it a try, guys. Again, it's a long shot that you're going to make it, but give yourself a try just so that you've seen the shot coming from your own hand. And when it comes up and you don't have anything else to do, go for that shot. Thanks for watching. Hit me in the comments. There used to be some chalk there, but it's not there anymore. Hit me in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe. And once again, thanks very much for watching. You guys are keeping this channel going pretty strong. Check out NWQ Pool. So an entire course just about 80 individual videos with pool lessons and it's very inexpensive. And there is a discount code in the description of this video, like a coupon code that you guys can use and get 25% off. So have a great day. Thank you.